Oh, what a wonderful Saturday. I am so excited because you guys are probably wondering, what is Cousin Amy plotting? Well, I made reservations for Phantom because he's terrible at dating. We all have to admit that, right? He's gonna be with somebody that I think is the sweetest, most amazing, handsomest person in the whole wide world. He's gonna love him. Oh, wait, I think he's coming. All right, let me stop talking to myself. <laughs> Hey cousin, uh, I just finished my lunch break. Uh, when do I leave, by the way? Oh, uh, you can leave now, actually. I don't really need you anymore. Also, I have some tea to talk to you about. Wait, you have something to talk to me about? About what? What? What is it that you want to talk to me? Listen, I know that you're not looking for anyone, but I managed to get you a date. Aw, cuz you're so sweet. How, what can I do without you? A date? What the hell is wrong with you? Phantom, don't talk to your cousin like that. Ugh. Anyways, I've met him already. He's one of my friends, longtime friends, and he so happens to be single. Ugh. Great, you found me a rebound guy. That's amazing. No, no, no. He's been single for like six months. Jesus Christ, Phantom. You think I'm gonna just let you die? No, you, no, you haven't done me wrong, so I guess I could trust you. Whatever. I don't know if it's a good idea, cuz... Relax, this guy is amazing. He has brown hair, he has a really good smile, he's strong, he works out, he has good qualities, he loves animals, he loves to go out and adventure. You're gonna love him. Uh, okay, sure. Man, I'm so excited. I'm glad that Amy was able to hook me up with somebody, you know, cause I was having a really tough time trying to meet people. Uh, okay, everything is all set. All I care about is making money. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I'm getting another text from Amy. Oh, she's asking me when I'm gonna be free. I should be free in the next hour, actually. Oh my God, I can't believe she finally found someone. She is a matchmaker in heaven. Oh my God, and this guy is cute too. So, uh, do you have a picture that I can see? Oh, that's right, I forgot to tell him to take a picture. He told me that he was in a busy shift right now, so he can't really take a picture at the moment, but he could take a picture in an hour from now when he's done. All right, cool. Um, So I guess, what do you want me to do? Well, I'm gonna give you his number, Um, and also be sure to meet him at the plaza by four. Uh, Okay, but how would I know who he is? Oh, trust me, you'll spot him in a mile. It's literally the easiest thing. Oh, okay, cousin. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm nervous and excited at the same time because I'm down to meet someone new. Oh, you're welcome, cuz. Have fun and tell me how everything goes. Alrighty, I will. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were allowed to be on your phone and not making me money. Oh, um, sorry, boss. I was on the phone with, um... With a friend. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't mean to be on the phone while being on, on the shift. But I have an important date to go to. And I'm gonna meet him in an hour. Uh, what do you mean in an hour? You're covering for the extra three hours, remember? Wait, what? What do you mean? I'm only working for one more hour and then I go. Aw, did you not look at the schedule? Uh, no, I didn't think that the schedule would tell me that I have to work extra hours. Well, it looks like you are not allowed to go anywhere until you're done. Oh no, I already told Amy that I was gonna be there. What am I gonna do? How about this? I could do you a favor. Who were you, or were you supposed to meet up with someone? Oh, uh, yes, I was gonna meet up with, um, I don't know if I want to say this, but my date. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I don't mind be going on your behalf and letting them know that you're going to be working an extra two hours and that you'll be there. Wait, you would really do that for me, boss? <laughs> of course I would do that for you. Anyways, I'm going to go. Where do I meet this person? Oh, um, they're going to be in the plaza. Thanks for everything, boss. Yeah, of course. What are co-workers for? <laughs> Ugh. Uh, uh, I hope I'm not late. Wait a minute, is that him? How do I know that's him? Oh wait, I remember my cousin said he has brown hair. He looks like he works out, definitely works out. He has a fashion sense. Although she said that he had a really good smile. I don't know if his smile is all that great. You know what, I can't judge a book by its cover. So I'm guessing that's him. Let me go introduce myself. Uh, uh. Uh, hi, I'm sorry, um, so 
I'm the person that you're supposed to meet today. My cousin Amy recommended me to hang out with you today. Nice to meet you. Wait a minute, is this supposed to be the guy that I'm supposed to go on a date with or something? Shouldn't I be telling him the truth? Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna have some fun. And besides, he doesn't look half bad, so. <laughs> He's lost, sucker. Um, hello? Uh, is everything okay? Oh, everything is fine. So, it looks like uh, we're gonna go on a date, aren't we? Um, uh, yeah, that would be the thing. <laughs> All right, cool. I know a place where we can go. Why don't you follow me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Oh my god, this food is amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's all you can eat, so go ahead and treat yourself. Oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. If anything, I'll I'll pay 50, it's it's okay, 50-50. What? No, that's not, that wasn't the plan. You can go ahead and get whatever you want. Oh, you're too sweet, but I don't think I wanna do that. Uh, listen, I understand that you're trying to be nice, but I don't mind paying 50-50, so it's cool. Uh, uh, okay, well, that was whatever. So, I heard from my cousin that you love animals. I love cats. I'm a big cat guy. Oh, really? I actually like cats too. My pic wait a minute, what's going on here? <gasps> you like cats too? Oh my God, you have to show me pictures of your cat. I would love to see him. Okay, I guess we have one thing in common. And I guess he was willing to pay for his own meal with me. So, not so bad. Whatever, it's, it doesn't mean anything. Oh my God, and then my cat, you know what he does? He like meows at me when he gets me something and I'm just like, what is it, Ether? And he just is so cute. Aw, really? Your cat does that? My cat does that too. I love, wait, what? Ugh, ugh, I'm doing it again. All right, whatever. Anyways, let me change the subject. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> what type of stuff do you like to do for fun? Oh. Hmm, that's an interesting question. What do I like to do for fun? I love playing video games and I chat with my friends a lot and my best friends are Ibella and Caramel Kitty and Blossom and they're amazing. Oh, and of course my cousin, I can't forget my cousin. Oh really, you play games? What kind of games do you play? Oh, right now I'm playing the new season of Fortnite and it's so much fun, did you play it? Oh, you need to add me, I love, wait a minute. Ugh, what is going on? This date is actually really okay-ish. I said I wanted to have some fun and not take this seriously, but it's whatever, it's not a big deal. All right, anyways, are you gonna send me your PSN so that I can add you? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? All right, well, now that we're done with the food, I was thinking let's go to the art museum and check out some art. I really love looking at art and sometimes it makes you think about like the world and having to see things from a different perspective. What do you think? And honestly, you don't have to like art at all. Wait, what? You like art? Um, I actually draw my free time. You know, I, I, I love art. I, I lived off art for most of my life. That's amazing. Okay, let's go and we can talk more about it. Let's save that conversation for when we get there. Hmm, okay, I got everything cleaned up, so things should be fine. Ah, my shift is almost over, but where's my boss? He said he was just gonna let my date know that I was gonna be a little bit late. He never came back. Or well, maybe he's just, I don't know. Maybe he's like making sure that he's okay, I guess, but that's a little bit weird for him to just take my date, right? <laughs> Anyways, I don't think he's gonna do any of that. Whoa. Oh, I just got a text from Phantom. Let's see. He said, Hey cousin, I'm having a good time. You are a genius. This person is really awesome. You know your stuff. <gasps> oh my God, I'm glad things are working out. <laughs> this is exciting. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna text him back. I hope you're having fun. Enjoy. Oh, I'm so happy for him. I knew he was gonna have a good time. <laughs> You better tell me more about it because I'm so excited. Okay, so how do you feel about this art? Like, tell me, like, give me your full honest opinion. Hmm, if I had to make an observation, I would say that the abstract colors are not matching to what it is, the colors are too dim, and on top of that, the person that's in the picture does not match the character of the person. Oh my god, that was an astute observation. I must give you credibility for that. Hmm, well, it's really nice to talk to somebody with, uh, you know, Somewhat of an intelligence. I mean, thanks, I guess. <laughs> no, that was a joke. Wow, you're really fun to hang around with. So, like, tell me, what do you do for work? Do you do anything fun? Well, I own several businesses, and right now I own the Breakfast Club, and I have a worker working there. Ah, that sounds interesting. This guy 
I really was supposed to try to ruin the day and I'm actually having a good time. Eh, whatever, I guess it's no point. Might as well just go all the way. I'm actually really enjoying this stupid date. Oh my god, my cousin is a genius. I have to text her again and like tell her that this is like the best thing ever. Hey, I don't normally ask this, but um, do you want to go get some ice cream? I'll definitely treat you and, and please let me treat you. I, I don't even mind. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's go get some ice cream. Uh, I'd be happy to get ice cream. Oh, darn, that reminds me. I have to text Amy and tell her that I was going to be late for the date. Let me let her know right now. Okay, I think this is done and checked. The x-ray machine is working just fine. Oh, um, I'm getting a text message. <gasps> oh my god, it's Phantom. He's probably texting me about the date. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, let's see. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's the date that I got Phantom. Sorry that I canceled real quick. I will meet up with him in an hour. I'm almost done with my shift. Wait, what? What is he talking about? Phantom's on his date. <laughs> like, it, he's with him, right? Uh-oh. Is Phantom not with you? Oh, she's asking if Phantom is with me? Uh, let me tell her. Uh, no, he is not with me at the moment, but I am gonna meet up with him later. Wait, what? You're not with him? Um, then who the hell? Wait, who's Phantom with? Um, uh oh, I'm okay. I'm freaking out. Who I need to call my cousin right now. Pick up the phone, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. All right, so are you ready to go? Hell yeah, I'm ready to go get some ice cream. Oh, um, give me one second. I'm getting a phone call, huh? It's my cousin. Why is she calling me? Well, I'm not gonna pick up the phone. I'm in the middle of the date. I'm gonna text her instead. Hey, cousin, I'm still on the date. If you wanna know what I'm doing, I'm by the museum. We're heading to the ice cream shop, so I can't talk to you now. I'll tell you more about it later. Okay, and I think that should do it. Ugh, rats, he didn't pick up my phone. He's going to the ice cream shop. <gasps> okay, oh, okay, perfect. He's safe. All right, I thought he was gonna be hurt. All right, let me go check. Who the heck is he with then? This is a little concerning. Oh my God, this ice cream is amazing. I love this flavor. Yeah, I love this flavor too. It's actually pretty good. You know what? I want to say this. I'm really having a good time. Thank you for, you know, inviting me over. I, I think, you know, this is amazing. You know what? I could say the same thing for you too. You're not bad yourself. Uh, I was wondering maybe, I don't normally ask this, but we can probably go on a second date. That'd be, you know, that'd be great. Oh my God, really? You want to go on a second one? Yeah, uh, sure, I, I'd be happy to go. Uh, 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 Phantom! Cuz, uh. what are you doing here? I'm in a date right now. <laughs> Something happened? Uh, 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 Phantom! Who the hell is that? Um, what? Um, d do I know you, miss? Wait, what? What do you mean, do you know her? She's the one that recommended me to you. Uh, cousin, I, I don't know who he is. I, I, I don't mean to scare you, but that's not the guy that I recommended to you. Wait, what? Who the hell is this guy then? All right. Hey, I made it. I'm sorry about that. I just finished my shift. Oh, hey guys. Hi, boss. Uh, thank you for, I guess, taking care of my day, but why did you relate to him that I was gonna be late? Wait, huh? Phantom, this is who I was referring to. Uh. Wait, huh? Listen, um, I didn't mean to lie about that, but I was actually having a good time, and the whole thing was supposed to be me having a, to do a prank, and then me telling you that your date was gonna be late. But don't tell me you started having a good time and you figured lying would be the best approach. Well, I didn't lie about anything but the fact that I wasn't the person. Uh, everything else is true, you know. You lied to my cousin and pretended to be your co-worker? You should be ashamed of yourself, especially as a boss. You should not be doing things like that. Bro, I can't believe you did that. That is so unprofessional. I quit that job. No way am I gonna work with a liar. Listen, I'm not gonna get upset about this. I mean, I get it, you did it as a prank, and now you know that, you know, you shouldn't really joke around like that because now you could have potentially met someone. But I think it's best if we don't go on another date, you know? I, I, I think that would be the best choice. Ugh, whatever. Well, I'm sorry that I lied. I'll talk to you uh, never, I guess. 
Uh, okay, that was a really interesting date. I mean, he wasn't really a bad guy. We had so much in common. Um, also, nice to meet you. I am sorry for the confusion. No, not at all. Uh, I'm sorry that my boss did that. Uh, yes. Well, anyways, I had a long day. Is it okay if we uh, meet another time? I kind of don't want to do anything right now. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, if anything, I'll contact you later. Uh, sorry, Amy. I'll be sure to give you guys some space. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, cuz... Uh, I should have just sent you a picture of him so this would have been all avoided. This was my fault. No, no, not at all. I mean, if you want me to be honest, I had a really good time. And I think it opened my eyes to just know that, you know, even though you go through heartbreak, there's always going to be opportunity everywhere. You know, I don't think that the way that that guy handled it was the smartest thing ever because, you know, he ended up liking the date. I think, you know, it's always good to just be honest. And the date reminded me that, you know, to always be your true self and don't be anyone else because you never know who's going to like you, you know? Oh, that is so true. Yes. Well, I'm happy that you feel like you learned something from this, even though it wasn't supposed to be that. But I'm glad that you're able to just love yourself and know that you just got to be you in order for people to love you. Yeah, of course. Moral of the story, everyone. Be sure to always be yourself and don't be anyone else because you never know who's going to actually love you just for you. So make sure that you're being yourself and not anyone else. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe. Take care.